everybody. One Small Potato here for One Small Potato Saturday. And we're playing Ark. As you might have noticed, we're a little bit more furnished than we were last time. So if you want to check out the episode where that kind of happened, if you look at the 2.5 episode and that whole adventure that took place. So I didn't want to bore you guys with the more of the base building. Anyway, our goals for this one are going to be to tame some more dinosaurs that are going to help us survive. Eventually go back to the mainland. Tame some... Tame some, like, flesh ears. I know they're carnivores. I want to just call them something else. But anyway. And hopefully get a flyer. That will eventually get us a big bird, chicken-like bird. It's called an Argent Argentavis. Well, it's more like a falcon than a chicken. But, eh. It's dinosaurs, and the closest you get to chickens is actually the dodos. If we're going in that direction. Okay, so what do we need to start? I know we need crop plots. Crop plots to start a farm. We need more stone to craft the irrigation. Because irrigation is important. Ooh, wrong tool. I actually hopefully want to get a titan boa eventually. Oh no, this was the right one. I was getting more flint than stone. My bad. But the problem with titan boas is that you have to feed them eggs that are fertilized. Alright, I feel a sneeze. Okay. And you kind of have to make sure that they don't want to attack and eat you. Which, which is a whole other thing of problems. So we you're going to need a flyer for that to keep out of its way. I have a crop plot. Yeah, let's make some large ones. Let's make some large ones, considering there's not... There are specific ones that plants go into. Like, some can only take larger medium. Some can only take... Some can only... S some can't go... Well, no. They can all pretty much go large. We don't have any food for you yet, buddy. We need fish, because you like fish. Okay, so we're going to set our crops somewhere where it won't totally matter. We're going to set them over here like we do in the... Well, eh, I'll actually set them right here. Here wouldn't be so bad. Okay, and we need more fiber, stone, and wood. We're also going to get a giant beaver eventually, which will actually help us with our wood problem. It'll be amazing. Oh yeah, our other priority is going to be to get dung beetles. Which is going to be up there on the to-do list. First, we're going to need a dinosaur that can go with us in the caves to safety. So we can actually have the dung actually safely take out the dung beetles with us. Otherwise, we're gonna all be in trouble. Dung beetles are amazing. If you guys have never played this game and are like, but why dung beetles? Dung beetles are about the size of small docks in this game. And they make fertilizer passively. You can make a fertilizer, you can make a bin that makes a bin that makes fertilizer. But the problem with the bin is, is that it doesn't make it quite as fast. You can check back on it after like... After like maybe, like let's say three days. And you're like... Well shit, why is there no fertilizer? And it's like it's still making fertilizer. It, it, it takes thatch and it takes compost to make fertilizer. But... 
The dung beetles don't take don't need thatch. They can make the fertilizer by themselves as long as you give them poop. As long as they passively grab it. And when you come back in like comparatively like two to one day, the dung beetles have already made the have 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 already made the necess have already made the fertilizer. Which is awesome. a little bit yes macro berries are gonna be our foundation for everything ideally drop one of these just to be safe these are these are relatively cheap to make anyway i think it might need a straight yeah, it's gonna need a straight. First. It's just gonna be a little tricky in the beginning. Of course it was not facing the right door. But you know what, as long as it irrigates our crops, it's getting the job done. I know one of the mods I have actually makes stuff straight, but I'm also just gonna be stubborn and not because I'm so because we played for so long on the Twitch stream. By the way, I bet who's I bet people are gonna be super excited about our Twitch co-op this Saturday, this Saturday at 12 Eastern Standard Time. So get your butts ready for that. Make sure you got a load of snacks, food, whatever. Get comfortable. We'll be live streaming all day, starting at 12. In the afternoon. The... I'm... It's like we played... We actually played for a long while without mods. And then we only got mods recently. When did I get that? When did I get a pike? Oh, probably from a... Chest last time. Craft one. Let's craft one of these. But we did play for a long time without them, so I got kind of used to just this. Not a super long time, but long enough to where I was just kind of done with trying to make it straight. Irrigated? Yes. A little bit irrigated, but it works. Now let's make another crop plot. We need more stone and more wood. Again, yeah, giant beaver is going to be amazing for that, but they're like way on the mainland, which makes it a problem. As things will eat us if we go to the mainland right at the moment. Whereas getting this crop plot down would be a fight. It'd be a big old fight. There you go. As much as I'm sure you guys want to see me fight dinosaurs, it's not fun for me trying to serve trying to just get stuff started and then dying to raptors 50 times. Believe me, I'm sure most of you have suffered the same- have- have felt the same way in Minecraft when getting shot by a skeleton, killed by a zombie in some way. Just... In a way where you just lose all your stuff that you had in your inventory and... You- you haven't even made your bed yet. Even though, if, if you've probably seen, I have made my bed in the game. But, for those of you who are not familiar with the game, it's got a cooldown. So, if I die, like, twice in one go, it's not going to... I can't, I can't, I'm not going to be able to respawn back at it immediately. Which is very problematic.
because you're like, well, how is it problematic? And it's like, for those of you who either don't remember episode one, which is a lot, which was a while ago, more for me than probably you, unless you've just watched it. There, there are nobody can come get me. There's nobody to grab a boat and come get me. I will be on the mainland having to make another boat to get back here. Also, you only respawn on the mainland for just the general spawn, which is not great either. Not ideal. Oh, we have a lot of knocker berries. He's growing. They're gonna be in straight right They're gonna be straight-ish rows. They're gonna go up here. So this will be narco berry. This will be azul berry. How are you doing on food? Pretty good. Just give me some more. Feed the others. Yeah, these guys are gonna be a problem, but for a while. Not super huge, but we'll get there to where we can just straight up kill them and they won't be a problem with shaking the screen. Read you guys. Because considering we want a flyer, the flyers don't... None of, none of them eat plants, so we're gonna have to grab fish. It looks like my house is on fire. The good thing this isn't like Minecraft and it can't actually put your house on fire. That'd be real problematic. Which would... Not be great for anybody. Also, I'd probably cry if I saw if my house was actually caught fire and all that work went to waste. And believe me, if you've if you watched the 2.5 episode, you'd know. You'd know the struggle of getting back here on the boat and how long that took. We're gonna make a compost bin anyway in the meantime. Just so that way we have it. Don't need a water reservoir. Let's see, what else do we need that's important? You guys are probably already screaming at me what's important, but I can't hear you because you're in the future. So just save it, save it in the comments for below later. Saying like you need to you should have grabbed this if I don't grab it on this episode. Water jars wouldn't be bad. Yes. We have a lot of points anyway. Let's... So fireplace would be nice. That's kind of convenient to have. We need a windmill. A human trap. No, we're not... Ooh. Hatchery. Collect fertilized eggs. Won't pick up eggs at or below one... Incubation incubates eggs in the inventory. Huh. Sure, we could do that. I didn't know that there was a actual... We need this. This is super important. I didn't actually know that there was a hatchery thing. It only gets it to... Only incubates to 1%, but it's still a start. Takes a while, but I'll take it. We're making an incubation station over there anyway, away from our house. Keep wanting to press Q to pick up stuff. I do wish, though, that there was. What are we missing for another crop plot? Craft one of these for later. Anyway, as I was saying, I do kind of wish that you could 
decide where to plant trees, like you got seeds for trees. You could decide where instead of them being in a fixed location. So that way they didn't just spawn at like point A all the time. You could go and plant one at point C. Because then it'd be nice to have a redwood over here. Because we're going to have to go to the redwood forest if we want sap and other stuff. And that's... That's going to be interesting to work with. I'm not sure how that's going to go. We will find out. Let's see what else do we need that would be convenient. I'm not too concerned about getting fences yet. I'm not sure if we got fences already or not. It's not going to be my top priority. It's just going to be stuff that I can make and build. Don't get enough for that. No, no. I'll just nanny them all myself. It's going to take some time out of this, but you know. I'll be more important. Also, dinos get buffs if you imprint on them yourself, which is important. Grab these. Need these. These are real important for power. Because the cool... Because... The eggs we want... To get... Which are going to be most of them are going to be cold eggs. Which need... To be with an air coolant. Which need power. Believe me, I've tried an Ar I've tried to make an Argentavis egg. I've tried to have an Argentavis egg hatch. In, in our live stream. And it's it's an it's an adventure. I need I've gotten to the point to where I cannot. I literally need. A, I literally need AC, craft an AC because if I don't, I cannot. The egg will not hatch. The egg will die. It's a struggle. It, it, it is a struggle. Believe me. Okay, we need more wood. I'm so glad when we get that giant beaver. The Argentavis can also pick up heavy stuff, so I'm pretty sure the Argentavis can pick up- Yeah, the Argentavis can pick up a beaver. I- I thought about it, and then I remembered... Our friend Panda actually brought the beaver to fulls to me to the island. From the- with her Argentavis. So... That's gonna uh, getting an arson tape is gonna be the most important thing we're after to go for. I say most important thing, but it's on the list of important things that we cannot go around. We're gonna have to make these into narcotics real quick. Of course, one of them is right there. At least it walked in instead of spawned in. That fire real quick. Oh. Put these in here, because we can. Pick up space or inventory. Oh, I didn't finish making the roof. That's right. We ran out of time. Must have making a roof. Oops. There. Now we're done. We'll expand this later. Ah, oh, there it is. We don't have a lot of spoiled meat. Ah. That's a problem. Well, we have a narco berry farm, so it's not a whole big problem. I'm also just kind of concerned that I just don't want to spoil all our meat. Because while there are a bunch of guys on this island, they do kind of rally together. If you... If I shoot this guy in the butt, it will aggro that guy. Which won't be the best thing. Oh, 
There is a chest up there. I'm gonna go get it. Because we will die. Of course it despawned the moment I got up there, the moment I noticed it, because it's not very bright when you're ne next to it. Getting wood. Probably need more stone. Oh yeah, we're probably gonna get an ankylosaur for, the, for these rocks that contain metal. I haven't seen them around lately, though. Not that I think we want them when we're struggling to feed ourselves at the moment. We also don't have a forge yet. That comes later. Still missing. Still missing way more stone, of course. You actually just have to go grab an Ankylosaur now. I don't have very many arc narc arrows, though, is the problem. We need more narcotics to make the arrows. Not ideal. Not ideal in that we don't have enough, and I don't think we'd have enough to make to pass out one of them. I don't, I don't see any. They're on this island. They spawn on this island, I know for a fact. Could they be over there? I don't... I don't see any... I'm like... Trying to find them? There they are. There's one. That's one we need. A He's not in a group. Which is good. And he, and he eats... Bit, and since then we're on Herbivore Island, it's not going to be that hard to get him food. The narco the the lack of arrows is going to be a problem. The lack of the trank arrows is going to be against us on this endeavor. Craft another one of these. Ah, oh, they're sitting. That's adorable. They're sitting like chickens. Chickens are kind of cute in their own way. I like... I like chickens as a food, but I also like... find chickens adorable. Mojo berry. Mojo berry. Narco berry. Azul berry. There's a pretty good start. I'm sure that they're all irrigated. These aren't too- these two aren't necessarily irrigated. Let's do that. I fix the problem. I guess. Well, doesn't look like it. It might when we come back. Sometimes the number doesn't update, I've noticed. Let's see if we can... Some meat? Actually. Yeah, so that way we have some food and we have some rotten food. That way it won't be too much trouble. I don't- I know for Trinkeros is not gonna do it. I know it's not. But we might have to try for an Ankylosaur just so that way we won't have to deal with the... We do have a club. We also have that going for us. 
Just so that way we won't be struggling to get stone. But it's going to take a lot of stone to make a forge. A crafting table, which I don't... Okay, our place is with, has some room for that. Actually... Can we... I do want to kind of expand our house a little bit so it doesn't get super cramped. It's just me by myself. have a lot of wood and we don't have a lot of fiber. Just not ideal. Let's see upper fortitude again considering it looks like we're temperatures affecting us. Check out anagrams later. Wrong way. Our house up this way. Need more wood. We need a lot more fiber. Nope. Down. I feel like I'm gonna jinx myself if I say this and point this out, but hey, I haven't hit tab yet. So that's a plus. I have not hit tab yet. I'm not sure if seven days makes you hit tab. I haven't played seven days in a while, but I know No Man's Sky definitely does. When I sat, I like I sat there, I took, and I was like, "What game? What survival games actually make you hit tab?" And then it was like, "Oh, No Man's Sky, of course, does." To check your inventory, which is why I instinctively hit tab every time. It also wasn't that big of a problem if I did it on the live stream because no, because you you guys will get to watch Combine from Combine's perspective. So if I messed up, nobody nobody noticed. So it wasn't that much of a problem. Let's punch the tree while we wait for our axe to be made. All right. Not ah, okay. Hopefully, we're going to expand our house a little bit, get a forage. Going. Some people are probably like, you could make the house look nicer, and it's like... I'm kind of more of a person who does that in Minecraft, not in something like this, a survival game. If I'm playing- if I'm playing with other people, and, I, and it's not my job to build the base, then... That- then it's not usually my problem. I can just make it- make my room pretty, if I want to. Although... Usually I do all the farming and stuff. I'm also not very good at fortifying bases. So, this is why I'm glad I don't pay, play PvP survival games. Or I'd never get anywhere. Be awfully sad. Some more. Fiber. Again, wood, fi wood and fiber are going to be the main things we forget to grab. Aside from stone. But stone is going to be a lot less tedious to get when we get an Angliosaur, which is going to be a little bit faster. Versus compa compared to the stone and... Compared to the fiber and the... Alexa. Stop. 
Sorry, I had the timer because my phone's dead. But anyway... We can't get... We're not going to be able to get that shit wood as fast. Because it's the beaver... As I pointed out before, the beaver's on the mainland. It's going to be one of our top things to get. You know what? I love, I'll live with it. Time being. As I mentioned in the 2.5 episode, we can't kill him yet anyway, but we will eventually. Actually. Well, I'm trying to make a wall yet when I can make... Another room back there. Which will make it look actually a little bit nicer. And then we have to demolish those walls, but that's okay. Well, I'm gonna have to demolish one wall to expand it a little bit further back so we can have two rooms. And one will have our forge, workbench. I know it's thinking about it, it's called a smithy in this game, but it looks like a workbench to me, and I'm just gonna call it a workbench because any game I've seen where it requires crafting and it has like a, a table like that with stuff on it is a workbench. Oh. The fly the fl the flyer got me for a second. I was like I heard a noise and it was like it Sounds like fiddlesticks from League. If you've ever heard of fiddlesticks not uh, if you haven't, please look like look him up to understand what the what, why I was like what the fuck. I also played two matches with Combine, who usually plays fiddlesticks, so I heard like that noise. I heard the fiddlesticks noise a lot. Also, fiddlesticks' is alt sounds kind of like that. Like it's like, and it's just like, oh the fuck. He's a terrifying demon scarecrow. For anyone who does not know League of Legends. Just real quick. I thought I was here I thought I was hearing that and I was about to be like, why is he in this game? Like why why is he in a dinosaur why is the scarecrow demon in this dinosaur game? Out to kill me on Herbivore Island where I just want to build a base. Just checking the time. Here we don't go super over. Just want to at least get the base. I don't want to get the base down. Our second room. At least we got our farm started, which is one of our which was one of our goals. That second room right, set up. I got work on walls. Missing stuff for walls. sickle is gonna be so nice we get a forage and we get metal it's gonna be amazing you're gonna see me just take down these plants we're gonna get fiber more than berries but that but we've already got a berry farm started so it's not gonna be a huge problem oh the wood it is wood Oh well. Let's up up our movement speed just a little bit so that we can move a little bit faster. Trust me, there will be a lot of times where we're gonna run away we're gonna, going to need to run away from things. Anyway, that's all the time we have for this episode. 
I hope you guys at least had some fun hanging out with me. Checking out the dinosaurs. Also helping you get an idea for the crop plots. And hopefully our base will be built a little bit more. And we'll get to eventually get to the mainland. I don't think we'll get to the mainland in the next episode. We'll most likely get a bit more farm. We'll get our Ankylosaurus. And we'll get a bit more of our farm going, get an Ankylosaurus, and get more of our base built. And then we'll ideally go to the mainland and tame something. That will help us tame more carnivores. And then we'll get dung beetles! So that'll be exciting. But as I said before, that's all the time we have for this episode. Hope you guys had a lot of fun. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Really helps us out. Lets us know that you like our con lets us know that you like our content and you enjoy it as much as we enjoy recording this. And it helps us know that we make someone stay a little bit brighter in these stressful times during quarantine and COVID and all that. Whatever else may be going on in the world. But I'm one small potato, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!